So I'm going to destroy this vase. Um, there are quite bad cracks on the inside, so I don't want to risk firing it and it exploding the kiln or just breaking apart um, and potentially burning other pieces in the kiln. So yeah, I'm just going to destroy it. Cool, well, let's destroy it. set of homeware. I'm going to start off with two of everything. So I'm going to do two mugs, two side plates, two big plates, two bowls, and then we also need a sugar container. So I might add that in as well. I'm going to throw the mugs and the bowls and then I'm going to hand make the plates. So I've already thrown two mugs. I did these two but I don't like this one. You can kind of see that the walls are not as rounded and then the bottom is also a bit too thin. So I'm gonna throw this one away um, and then I just remade another one, which is this one. So these are the two that I'm gonna go ahead with. I'll try to make them as accurate as possible. Obviously they'll be like a little bit different. So I'm just gonna wait for these to get to the correct dryness to attach the handles. trick is to let your handle sit like this for a bit don't blend it out yet because i find it's a nice way to prevent cracks because apparently what i've heard is that if you leave it to dry a little bit like this before you blend it in it gives time for the slip to dry a little bit more when clay dries it shrinks so when the slip dries it'll shrink back into place um, Whereas if you blend it out first and then the slip does it, it's more likely to prevent cracks. Um, it's worked for me so far, so yeah, I'm gonna leave this to sit like this for a little bit and then I'll come back and join it all together.
so where I'm at is I've made two mugs and two bowls. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's where I'm at. These are the two mugs that I. These are the two mugs that I made. I actually really like the size and the shape um, and the handle, so I'm happy with these. Um, obviously, it's a different story getting them fired. They do shrink. They depends what glaze I choose and stuff, but. I'm happy with them so far and then these are the bowls that i've made i want a nice big bowl so that they're more versatile and what you can use them for and i have been making smaller bowls so um i also wanted to challenge myself making something a little bit bigger than i usually do i know this isn't very big but i'm still learning on the wheel so um yeah this is one of the bigger things that i've done I'm happy with this one. I do think that the overall shape could be a bit better. Overall, I'm happy. This one I'm a little bit nervous about. I might remake it. Um, just because when I was making it, it just didn't feel right. And I had to alter a few things and then reshape it and that kind of thing. So I'm a little bit nervous about this one. That it might get a crack or warp or something. So I might just remake it. But we'll see how we go so far it's been fun and then this one is the first one that i made the first mug that um i didn't like it wasn't round enough but yeah it just i didn't like it and the bottom was too thin um so i'm gonna break this in to recycle um yeah so that's where i'm at at the moment i still want to make two small plates two big plates and possibly a sugar pot and I know it's not ready to do with the kitchen but a toothbrush and toothpaste holder because we need one of those <laughs> but I'll be doing those in the next video mm -hmm. 